Hi, Adele. Lovely to meet up with you again on the range and do some further work on your game. Uh, just a quick recap on the key points we covered. Last session, we were looking at obviously cutting the finish off a little bit, helping the rate of closure, and also trying to get the hand path to work in. We can see here the early part of your swing, the club stays on the line a little bit too long, and the hands start to come up off hand plane too soon. So the hands should be staying on hand plane, the red line, until approximately P2 maybe P2.5, and then working up onto elbow plane. With a hand pass so high early in the swing, the tendency then is to go dropping the golf club on the inside to try and keep it there to hit the draw shot. And to be fair to you, you're hitting a lot better shots than you were hitting early part of last session. Still a hell of a lot of rotation on the way through, not enough linear movement, as we can see by that right foot being very much up and down and the hips very cleared in the through swing. One of the things we pointed out also was the fact that the club face here, very, very short. Your perception of a square club face needs to be altered somewhat. A player who tolls the club in like that at address is going to definitely struggle to get the launch on the ball if he returns it in that position, as flight score was showing. Alternatively, the player may want to make this move at the top as he changes direction that we see you make where everything just sort of at the top just shallows a little bit too much counter rotating the forearms to try and get some loft back on that golf club what we suggested you do is that you move the weight forward you move the handle forward and you pull the arms in to the max. Now that's this is what you're doing here. We've got your weight forward, about 70% of the weight on the left hand side. Remember the weight location alone will not alter the trajectory of the shot. So putting your weight on your left side isn't the be all and end all in regards to hitting it low. We're going to put the weight forward but we're going to soften up the club face and as you're going to see and as the flight scope showed you're going to get a higher initial launch. On the way back now, you're going to pull the arms in more. So let me alter that line a little. So weight forward, handle forward. That's going to keep the hands in more up until P2. Allowing you then to make a very similar transition without too much manipulation. And keep moving forward in the finish. If we look at those two follow throughs, here we've got much better extension, much more appropriate hip slide, and less clearance as can be seen by the banked in right foot. So, key moves for your key thoughts from the session soften up the club face. If we want that ball to start right and draw back, we need the club face to point to the right a little bit at address and impact. Now, it doesn't necessarily need to be as severe as you've seen here on the bottom right. That was me trying to illustrate how open you could have the golf club without curving the ball to the right. Club face starts the ball off. The further forward the handle, the more open the club face, the easier it is to get the hand path working in. So you've got handle forward, club face pointing to the right. 70% of your weight on your left hand side and keep hitting the brakes at chest height. That finishing position down below vastly improved. Much, much better finish position. Much more linear movement. Much better control of the rate of closure on the club face. And overall, a much better shot pattern at the end of your session. Good luck with it. If there's any questions, feel free to, free to contact me. And I look forward to working with you again in the coming weeks. Well done.